Hello, my name is Deepshikha Nair and I will be running through this presentation that highlights new features in OSS software version 19. The OSS software LSDyna environment is a suite of tools designed specifically for LSDyna. Primer is our preprocessor, D3Plot and This are for post-processing and Reporter automatically creates reports for hundreds of your simulations. Shell is our LSDyna submission tool and provides access to all applications and documentation. Primer is perhaps best known for occupant simulation, dummy and human body model positioning, seat belt fitting and airbag folding with the J-Fold plugin. Primer is also widely used in the industry for fast setup of massive vehicle models, applying the latest LSDyna keywords without fear of losing any data, model quality assurance from checking, and hundreds of other time-saving expert tools. We also produce a wide range of barriers and pedestrian impactor models for use with LSDyna. These are developed in collaboration with Cellbond. Our priorities that drive our software development are performance and speed to aid in working with large models, easy integration into automatic processes, expert tools across the whole workflow, and complete LSDyna support. Primer 19.0 supports the vast majority of LSDyna keywords up to R12 and most of R13. The default output version has been changed from R9.0 to R11.0 as this is currently the most commonly used worldwide. Primer's check tools will use this version to ensure that the model is valid and correct. Following topics are related to speed and performance. Primer copes with LSDyna encrypted data by writing it to a temporary file and then combining it when the model is written out. From version 15, Primer can read and write compressed and binary format input files and has its own encryption. Binary files are much quicker to read in and out of Primer, but none of these formats will run in LSDyna, so from version 19, a new alert symbol is used in Primer's menus. The new alert symbols are shown in the include and write select files panels. Model check reports a warning and the write panel still highlights the format in red. Binary and compressed files can be converted to ASCII using Primer or our free decoder program. If multiple include files exist with the same name but different file extensions, Primer will read the most recent one in the directory. For example, even though the master file reads child.key, if child.kby is newer, Primer will read that model. This is indicated by an asterisk in the part tree menu and separate warnings in the include and write panels as shown here on the right. More details are given in the hover text and explained panels from the check menu. New tabs have been added to the tools and keyword panels to display your favorite buttons. The favorite menus are denoted by the star on each tab. You can edit each favorite menu by pressing the custom button. You can choose which buttons will appear in your favorites menu by selecting them from the list on the left and pressing add or selecting them from the list on the right and pressing remove. To change the order of buttons in your favorites menu, select the one you want to move in the list and use the arrow buttons at the top. Pressing apply will update your favorites menu to match your list here. In version 19, multiple non-parallel cut planes can be created in up to three directions. Simply switch on and press add to create the planes. Toggle between them using the tabs and press remove to delete. Normal or omit works as before, but now two modes, union and intersection, control the display of overlapping quadrants.
In the keyword editor, under options, go to label will jump down the list to show items nearest to the label input. When merging two models, the custom merge panel now has a question mark button next to every category where an ID clash is found. Pressing the button launches a list of clashing items which can be sketched, displayed only or individually interrogated. Contact pen check summarize all panel has been joined by the more powerful contact tree. This shows errors and warnings for all contacts in the model, including number of penetrations, crossed edges, and untied nodes. Each contact can be edited or the pen check tool can be run directly to visualize the problem areas and fix them. In this example, the vehicle contact uses exempted part set option SS type 6. Running pen check shows many crossed edges. The pen check tool can now move all shells with crossed edges into new parts and place them in the exempted part set. Pen check now reports zero crossed edges in the contact. A quick look at the exempted part set shows the crossed elements have been added. This is a quick way to avoid crossed edges during the early stages of model development. When creating database cross sections with a part set that contains both left and right sides of the vehicle, the auto size function would always apply to all parts in the set, regardless of visibility as shown in this example. The green cross section here is made through both sides and from version 19, a new only visible button limits the auto size function to apply only to visible parts. When using multiple windows in D3Plot19, dragging a pink window border will now resize the neighboring window. Drag a blue borderline to move all window boundaries left to right or up and down, and drag the green boundary intersection line to resize all windows in all directions. The layout panel now shows a button for each window on the screen. Drag the buttons to change the order that the windows appear on the screen, or drag the windows themselves and drop them over a window to swap their places. Following topics are related to automation and process integration. In primer version 19, you can write a hook script to run any JavaScript when the user goes to write out the model. In this example, a small panel is shown with a summary of the model information. Hook scripts will also be run when writing out files from the include file panel as shown here. They will also be run when using the write keyword command in the dialog input panel. Some new functions have been added to the crash test setup script. This tool helps you set up a model to various crash test protocols. Around 25 tests are supported and more can be customized by the user. From version 19, both left and right hand impacts can be set up at the same time. In the vehicle setup panel, key data is input like the ground height, head center, and these can be sketched, saved to a file and reread at a later date. Simple barrier models are supplied with the tool, but it also works with the user's own barrier models. From version 19, we can select which include file to write the newly created data. In this example, Primer sets up a Euro NCAP oblique side pole impact. It automatically aligns the pole and depenetrates using contact to the vehicle. The load keys description can be now written to the model title. With the new batch tool, multiple load cases can be set up on multiple vehicles. 
simply populate the table, select the load cases, vehicle settings file, and press go. All data can be saved to a file and read in, and the tool can run in background mode. Primer contains many tools to help you through the whole pedestrian analysis workflow. In Primer version 19, there are new additions to the markup tool and HIC area calculator, and more assessment templates are now available in Reporter. The pedestrian markup tool in Primer now supports Euro NCAP version 9.0 and C NCAP 2021 testing protocols. These include a new cyclist head impact zone and alternative head impact angles for the roof. The corresponding templates for head and leg impacts have also been added to Reporter. For anyone not familiar, here's a quick demo of the pedestrian markup tool in Primer version 19. After reading a vehicle model, use the GUI to pick the outer parts or read that info from a predefined settings file. Select the test protocol from the drop-down list. For Euro NCAP, Primer offers an alternative way to determine windshield rear reference line to set up roof impact points. In this example, calculation lines are switched on to visualize the markup process. These lines are different according to test protocols. Once complete, the tool moves to the impact points menu where settings for head and leg impactors can be defined. Different methods for point distribution and labeling are available, as well as manual input for angles and other parameters. In Primer version 19, the HIC area calculator has been updated to support the latest GTR, Euro NCAP, and C NCAP protocols. This tool is available in the pedestrian safety menu in Primer and has seen several new enhancements over the past few releases. Graphs and animated results can now be viewed in THIS and D3 plot for any impact point using buttons in the analysis and compare tabs. Simply select view curve and pick an impact point from the screen. THIS is launched automatically and the HIC curve for that data point is displayed. Curves for more points can be added by simply selecting more on the screen in the same way. Reporter offers a series of templates for both pedestrian head and leg impact analysis, appropriate to each testing protocol to aid in the automatic reporting of your LS Dyna results. There are templates available for the latest NCAP and legal regulations, and they support both head and leg impact analysis. This example shows a Euro NCAP head impact assessment. All runs were automatically post-processed, and this report shows a cover page summarizing the number of points scored. On the following pages, the score is broken down further. The HIC curve for each head impact location is also included in the report. Similarly, the relevant leg bending moments and elongations are also included in the leg impact reports. Other automotive test protocols supported by Reporter are shown here, with those new or improved in version 19 highlighted. Please let us know if there are further tests you would like to see supported. This is an example of a Euro NCAP far side whole impact report. And these show IIHS side impact using moving deformable barrier. And these show IIHS front small offset barrier impact. Support for the HDF5 file format has been introduced in THIS version 19 with the ability to read the file and plot any of the data on the X and Y axis. Support for writing the file and other functions will be added in future versions. D3Plot Viewer is a free browser-based viewing tool that uses GLB files written from D3Plot. There's no plugin, no installation, and no registration needed. 
designed for sharing results with team members and partners. It can be embedded in a website, into PPT slides, or downloaded to work 100% offline. A dark mode is also available along with all the usual functionality you would expect in a results viewer. Following topics are related to the expert tools in LSDyna. When creating solid spot wells with a heat affected zone mesh, Primer version 19 now has options to reconstruct the flange area and do some extra processing to reduce the pairs of triangle elements next to the heat affected zone. In this example, we use the connection table to convert mesh free spot wells into meshed in solid nuggets with a separate part for the heat affected zone around each weld. The new option HAZ mesh reconstruct helps improve the mesh quality along the flanges and the HAZ triangle reduction greatly reduces pairs of triangles next to the HAZ ring, which can cause problems if the material failure is used. Adhesive patches can now be created by directly picking the surface of a solid part. In this example, we create an adhesive patch and choose Select Path Source Solid. In the Select panel, we use the Feature Line option to select the desired solid face. The adhesive solids can be extruded from the existing mesh or an automatically remeshed pattern. Many of the latest star IGA keywords are supported in version 19. A new refine panel lets you display knots and insert new knots by either picking on the screen or by typing a value into the text boxes as shown here. Refinement is also available by changing PR and PS in the panel one degree at a time. Contact penetration checking and visualizing works exactly the same for IGA shells as for normal shell parts. It's also possible to create spot welds in the normal way using the connection tool as shown here. The encryption tool has three enhancements in version 19, customizable partial encryption, PGP comments, and vendor options for licensing. For material cards, the encryption start line can now be defined, giving the option to expose material type, labels, and other key data to help model management and checking. User-defined comments can now be added at the top of a PGP encrypted block. These have no effect on the input, but can be useful as metadata to describe what is encrypted. Primer uses the comments Primer Full Encrypt and Primer Partial Encrypt to identify and track the encrypted input. In vendor options, an expiry date can be specified for encrypted PGP text, after which it will no longer read into LSDyna. A custom message can also be input using any number of additional lines. LSDyna will display this message when it encounters expired data. A Bessel filter has been added to THIS version 19. Similar to the Butterworth filter, the input requires cutoff frequency and order, 10 being the highest order supported. Also similar to the other filters, the beginning and end of the curve are reflected to minimize the end effects and a second backwards pass is performed to remove the phase change or lag. This ensures that the peaks align with the raw data. The minimum area discrepancy method or MADM tool is available in THIS version 19 as a JavaScript. This is an effective way to calculate the correlation of curves that are not always increasing in the X value, such as the force displacement of an impact. Simply select the curves to compare, enter the offset value and press calculate. The MADAM score is presented in a separate graph on the right. CORA and ISO 18571 are other ways to calculate the correlation of curves 
and are available as a JavaScript with THIS version 19.1. Multiple test curves can be selected and will be averaged. Simply select the curves to compare and press apply. The rating results are shown in a pop-up menu. Options to display the calculation curves and output them to CSV are also available. A tutorial showing how this can be automated with JavaScript is provided with the 19.1 release. In D3Plot version 19, two new data components are available. Yield utilization factor plots the one MESA stress over the initial yield stress. Yield utilization percentage plots the same factor as a percentage. That concludes our highlights of OSS software version 19. For more information, please visit our YouTube channel where you can find over 20 short bursts explaining many other topics in detail. Our website oss-software.com slash dyna also contains hundreds of tutorials and webinars related to our software tools and LS Dyna. Finally, every version contains a PDF detailing what's new. This can be accessed from the help drop down on the top menu. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation. Please get in touch if you have any questions.